Hello guys, welcome back. I am Azim Tariq from Redisco.com. In the previous video tutorials, I show you guys how to get access token from a Graph API Explorer and how to extend this access token. Uh, but I was getting so many requests on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook page. They was asking for me to make a tutorial on how to get access token by their um, uh, desktop application problem is that uh, for example you develop uh, some application and uh, end user don't know how to uh, you know create a developer application and uh, how to get uh, access token from graph api explorer application but we do so what we want to do is we want to create some button like on our application like uh, saying authenticate when user click on that button uh, we will uh, process all of this uh, we will get access token from our uh, our application and uh, after that uh, uh, we will uh, use that access token in our application so that's what we are going to do uh, right now in this tutorial uh, first of all let me show you uh, what we are going to build here uh, because I already test it out and uh, it's really working uh, as you can see that this is uh, java swing application and uh, we have just simple button right here when user click on this this application will open google chrome uh, let's wait for it so you guys can see that uh, it open google chrome now i'm going to enter my credentials to log into facebook and uh, facebook is going to ask me to allow permission to this application what i can simply do is i just can click on ok i'm good with that and uh, i'm going to click on ok again it will authenticate our application uh, it will redirect back to my website and uh, our application reads that access token and uh, it displays name of the user that is currently logged in uh, this is what we are going to do uh, in this tutorial so first of all you have to make your application public uh, so that uh, normal user can uh, access it from external link so how you can do this is just click on your application and go to app reviews and you will see something like this uh, let me do it uh, you will see something like this it means your application is not public you you just have to click on this and it will ask you to confirm your action and now your application is uh, public now any anyone from uh, your link can access your application or in other words can get access token from your application uh, uh, go to settings and uh, you will see something like this in your application click on add platform click on website and write down URL of your website if you do not have any website uh, you can simply type any URL like facebook.com or uh, google.com it doesn't matter but you just have to remember it so I type radisco.com so I will remember it and uh, also you have to remember app ID right uh, I'm going to copy this app ID here and uh, also I'm going to copy this app URL okay now I'm going to close this before we begin coding uh, you have to download uh, some dependencies uh, 
first one is obviously rest facebook in my previous videos i show you how to download and uh, include in your project just download it and include it okay and uh, another thing that you have to download is selenium web drivers Uh, just search selenium and go to this first website uh, actually this tool will help us to read uh, url from browser so that's why uh, we need this tool go to downloads and scroll down you will see that uh, download for java version i uh, just download it uh, it will um, download zip file let me show you uh, it's just 10 mb and it will download it i'm not going to download because i already downloaded it and the second thing that you have to download is driver for a web browser and here you will find uh, some different versions of uh, google chrome driver uh, first one is uh, linux version if you are working on linux you uh, guys are going to download this linux version for 32 bit and 64 bit and this one is the uh, mac version if you are going to develop this application on mac you are going you guys are going to download this version and finally this is for windows because i am on right right now i am on windows uh, so that's why I'm going to download this Windows version. I just download it and uh, so finally we have uh, uh, things that uh, we are going to use in our project. I'm going to um, create simple JavaFX application because this is very latest technology for developing GUI applications. Uh, that's why I'm going to use this right now for this tutorial. Okay, uh, let's call it auth user and uh, let's create it main and click on finish I'm not going to cover uh, JavaFX basics uh, if you guys don't know JavaFX, you can simply uh, build this in Swing application. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, we have this button right here. Let's change its text. Auth and uh, we have this label uh, when I am going to click on this button I want to I want to execute this function uh, auth user. This is the function that I'm I want to execute when user click on this button, and uh, also I want to make this label as a message m right. Okay, click uh, click on save and close this scene builder we want to create 
fresh controller from this JavaFX XML file. Uh, this is the button that I was talking about and this is the label message where we display username that we will authenticate using our application. Now write some code. First of all we are going to declare some variables. Uh, we need a domain variable and uh, like I said uh, in my case domain is this so I'm just going to copy this here like this okay and uh, second variable is going to be our app ID uh, let me copy it again okay now uh, Another thing that we need is auth URL. Uh, this is the URL that we will open in user's web browser and uh, it will authenticate our user. Okay. Uh, let me just quickly copy this URL and uh, let me copy it again here. Uh, thing that I want to explain in this URL is uh, is this uh, we have app ID here uh, which is from here and domain which is from here and uh, main thing is this scope you, you can see that scope is pretty large uh, because scope is the actual permission that we want to get from the user if you want to get uh, permission for example uh, user underscore home or user underscore groups if you want to get a user group then you guys are going to need this permission so that's why you can just put any permission uh, separated with comma for example uh, i want additional permission for example foo underscore bar something I I just have to put it like here if you uh, don't know how to know which permission you want or which permission you don't uh, you can sim simply go to developers.facebook.com and from here click on graph API and then click on API reference let's click on user if you want to know which permission you need to get for accessing particular data from user and for example if you um, make a request to this URL it will return all of the accounts or pages in which user is advertising right uh, so these are some of the endpoints where you can make your call for each particular endpoint we have different permission okay you guys can see that um, uh, here you need two permissions uh, manage underscore pages and uh, pages under, underscore show underscore list uh, these are the permission that you need to get from user if you want to access users pages right so you just have to put uh, these permission in scope variable like this okay just put all of these permission in scope variable and you are good to go.